Now it's time for News Extra and brought to you by the Garing Civic Center. Here's Kevin Mooney. Thanks, Dan. Good morning, everyone. And uh, we have a couple of gals that are very familiar with this studio. Andrea Ryan from Casa and Holly Brandt from Capstone. Believe it or not, 10th Annual Lino Breakfast coming up September 6th. That would be a Thursday morning. Am I right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Thursday morning, September 6th. Not that far away, really. And uh, we want to kind of get you up to date on what these two gals are doing and what their organizations are doing. And hopefully you can you can go to the breakfast. So, um, first of all, let's talk about Capstone and CASA. Um, who wants to go first? I'll go first. All right. Okay, Holly. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell us about uh, Capstone, and and you guys have been busy this year, right? Yes, we've been very busy. Um, Capstone provides a safe, child-friendly place for children who have allegations of abuse and neglect to come and receive a forensic interview. Um, We also provide advocacy services for them, and the advocacy includes um, support for the non-offending caregiver, so um, answering any questions they might have, calls. Um, we offer counseling for the child and for the non-offending caregiver, and if they can't cover that, Capstone pays for that expense. We can also offer medical exams for children who have been sexually abused or physically abused. And then we have a program also, if a child has to testify in court, we provide what's called a court school curriculum. So we work with them um, to let them know what each person in the courtroom, what their role is. We can um, set up a courtroom tour with the county attorney, get them familiar with the court, and then we can be there with them the day of the court hearing and in the courtroom so they don't have to be alone. So a lot of stuff. Yes, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff you guys provide. And uh, unfortunately, you've 436 forensic interviews this year. And well, 474 474. In 2017. Yeah. Wow in 2017 yeah so um quite a few it's quite a few interviews that's like one a, that's like more than one, day. More than one yeah. a day yeah that's not right <laughs> it's not, uh, yeah it's not i'm right. sorry Unfortunately, it's just not it's just not right yeah i mean there is a problem with child abuse and neglect in our community yeah and, and we just see the most severe of the cases so i mean there's yeah. way more cases than that in the 11 counties of the panhandle yeah all right, all right, Andrea. Um, you guys uh, then take it over once it gets over into the court system, right? And help these kids out with these with your court appointed advocates, right? Right, right. A, a judge would assign a CASA volunteer to a child or to a family mm-hmm. to work with them while they're going through the juvenile court system. Um, and we work with the child, um, getting to know them, getting to know their circumstances, their family, their likes, dislikes, wants, needs. And we write reports to the judge, making recommendations on what we feel is in that child's best interest. Yeah. And uh, you guys have, uh, right now you've served 54 this year, 75 last year. So the number will probably go, once again, go up close to 75 by the time you're all done, right? Uh, definitely. If we had more CASA volunteers, the number would it would increase, it would by, increase by a lot. Yes. Substantially. Yes. Right now you have 24 volunteers and you got a training class today, right? We do. We have a training class starting this morning, actually at 9 a.m. It will run for a few weeks. If if somebody's interested in being in the training class or a volunteer, they just need to reach out to the CASA program at 672 2922. If you can't make this training class, we are starting another one probably in October or November of this year after our Light of Hope breakfast. Okay. All right. We'll talk specifically about the breakfast right after this break. Let your wedding reception be a truly memorable celebration by holding it at the Gearing Civic Center's elegant, calm free ballroom. Your planning will be helped by professional staff who are dedicated to your event. The meat shop will delight your food sense with traditional or ethnic menus. There are no room or service fees with food purchases. Call 436-6888 or visit GearingCivicCenter.com. The Gearing Civic Center, the center of it all. We are back on News Extra. We have uh, Holly Brandt from Capstone and Andrea Ryan from Casa. They're 10th annual Lida Hope Breakfast coming up September 6th. Their biggest fundraiser of the year. It's over at the Weeborg Center at uh, 7 a.m. And uh, Andrea, the idea here is to get people there to kind of learn about your guys' organizations. And uh, you have some special guest speakers and maybe give a free will donation at the breakfast, right? Exactly. Um, 
I kind of said it all. all. You're right. (laughs) I kind of said it all, didn't I? All right. But but you're right. It is the main fundraiser for both agencies during the year. Um, Our our main reason is to really um, to let the community know what what Casa and Capstone do in in, for the children in our area. Yeah. How much is it per table? Um, You want to sponsor? Table sponsorships start at two hundred fifty. If you'd like to do a corporate sponsorship, um, all the way up to a thousand dollars for a table. Okay. All right. So, Holly, um, uh, and you guys have a, some special guest speakers this year that are, um, I think people will, it may be kind of a sad, but probably inspirational deal, right? Yes. Um, we have two sisters who have actually received services at Capstone and then also received services at CASA, and they've agreed to speak, you know, kind of about um, the abuse that they suffered and then their experiences with both agencies. So it should be, I I think, a real eye-opener maybe for some people in the community, um, what these girls have gone through and then, you know, the services that they've received. Yeah. I mean, when you got both of you guys are working this thing, I would imagine it's, I mean, every day it's got to be kind of difficult sometimes mentally, isn't it, to work through what you have to deal with every it is day? it's really difficult um actually one of the things we're working on this year is bringing out a training um for vicarious trauma because a lot of times people in this field suffer what they call like a secondary trauma mm-hmm. um, because of the trauma that they witness day in and day out with the kids that we serve and so it is it's a very hard field but we don't do it you know for the money we do it because we care about kids and we want the families to have better outcomes right and Andrea, I would imagine, I mean, your folks that help out, it, um, you're looking for really some very sympathetic folks, courageous folks that want to help out the child and the family in the courtroom, right? Um, sure. And somebody that just has a, a love of being with children, enjoys mm-hmm. being around them. Um, we also offer services for our volunteers, um, counseling services. Some of the stories or some of the things they hear from some of these kiddos can be tough to swallow. Um, so we want to make sure that, like, like what Holly was, was talking about, um, that secondary trauma that maybe some of our volunteers can receive, that they have the support from, from the CASA program as well. Yeah. All right. If people want to get tickets to the breakfast, uh, what do they do? Uh, well, they can call either CASA or Capstone. CASA's number is 672-2922. Okay. And Capstone is 632-7274. And um, if you don't already have a spot with a table captain, just call on RSVP, and I'll make sure you have a spot at the breakfast. All right. Once again, September 6th. Hope you are uh, hope you do it, folks. Uh, $250. Sponsor a table if you're a business or an organization and help these uh, two wonderful organizations out put it on your calendar september 6th 7 a.m at the weeborg center the light of hope breakfast once again thanks for coming in thank you thank you